Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today, you're going to see the highest damage that I've ever dealt inside the random queue in the 100,000 games or so that I have been playing this game. So, I've been playing World of Tanks since 2011, and today you're going to be seeing the most that I've ever managed to deal. Uh, the previous damage record was 10,000. And 11 set last year in a 60 TP. Unfortunately, um, it's going to be a little bit more filthy today. Let's push this tank to the limit. Get quacky babs. Do we really need to push such an overpowered tank to the limit? I mean, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to share the mic with him all the way through. I think you can see what I've done on this vehicle and for all of the twitch drops from last year where you could get yourself a quacky baby commander at a day cal. Um, I decided to slap them on the front of the uh, the 2790. Very fetching, right? At least it gives my opponents an opportunity to finally actually take proper swipes at me in game, right? Okay, so I know, I know, the 2790 is going to get a new 10,000 plus damage record for my account. How much higher than 10,000 it will be? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. It's a little bit sad that I am getting the damage record in the 2790. It was just last year that I... I had like a 9,900 damage game in the 279E where I actually missed a shot which stopped the uh, vehicle from overtaking the 60 TP which had set the record pretty much the week or two before. Now I'm a little bit sad that uh, the new record is going to be in the 279E uh, because, well, I, I don't have it in the 60 TP anymore which is a tech tree tank and like having your damage record in a 279E is so mainstream compared to having a, a damage record in something like a 60 TP, right? It doesn't look like it's going to be a damage record kind of game, right? Because I tell you what, this 277 is kicking my butt, that is for sure. They fired exactly the right kind of ammo against this tank, which is full gold. And even though I managed to uh, get them out of the game at the start of the battle, they've actually crippled my tank. They, they made me bleed my own blood. I mean, what is this? I've actually taken a lot of damage, and now the whole of the enemy team seems to just be like hoarding in on the 279E. And I thought this game was just completely dumb. But I decided I need to get some distance. And the reason why you want to get some distance is because with the 279E, your armor is only good if you're wedging the front of the tank upwards. If you don't wedge the front of the tank upwards, then your armor is actually not very good against premium rounds. Luckily for me, the 268 version 4 fires a regular round. The T57 Heavy is loading a regular mag. That artillery actually did me uh, a favor there by penetrating the FE405. Notice how I didn't get stunned or take any damage, even though the shell landed pretty close to my tank. And that is because of it, if an artillery manages to penetrate the enemy, or sorry, got an enemy vehicle, or at least the tank on my team, then that means that it doesn't do any splash damage or any stunning damage. So it kind of helped me out there. I mean, is there any surprise as to why this vehicle is getting a new damage record for me when you can just pretty much sit in front of people and still get away with absolute murder? The only time that you can't is more or less when they're firing gold. Now, hopefully I'm going to show you how to play this tank properly now, and that is that I'm going to be wedging the front of my vehicle up in a slope. And this is what 279E drivers have to do. You have to wedge your armor up, and then that makes your upper hull rather good. And luckily, even though this tank doesn't have very much gun depression at all, only 5 degrees, it's still enough to find the weak point of the 268 version 4 over that ridge line. Alright, so I've still got 700 hit points. Uh, still not many. Uh, I did actually max roll on that 268 as I managed to hit them around the corner, and I'm rolling good right now. Although earlier I was rolling bad with the 350, so I guess what goes around comes around. Luckily for me, the VZ-51 whiffs, misses my weak point. I'm worried about getting hit in the side by the CC Mark II, but I also really want to farm right now. Because it's up to 6,800 damage in the first, hold on, three and a half minutes of this battle. Have I really done 6,800 damage in three and a half minutes? This is absolute madness. And this WZ-114, he, he gave it his best shot. He went up close and personal, fired down on my tank. They've got two marks of excellence, so they can't exactly be the worst player. But luckily, even with them aiming down on my tank, they didn't have enough PEM. If they loaded a gold round there, I would be dead, having dealt 7,000 damage in this game. But luckily, we can go on. This is a ridiculous round of World of Tanks. The Type 4 Heavy actually gives me a thumbs up. I should be really giving them a thumbs up and saying affirmative, because they've got me out of a lot of trouble there by just being present and doing a bit of tanking. But we still got a long way to go uh, with this battle. Although, I have to admit, after dealing, yeah, 7,800 damage in the first four minutes, gosh, those artillery just plaguing me right now. I think I was getting a little bit excited as to the, the, the possible craziness that there could be in this game. 
I'm worried about the Cranvong on my side, but I really want to be greedy and poke the T57 heavy. But luckily I don't, and I realize, okay, Cranvong's there, and he is on full health. We're on 8,300 now, ladies and gents. And we put one through the front plate of the Cranvong. I'm going to turn my armor and wiggle while also raising my gun to try and protect my weak point. I'm going to reverse up there a little bit find they're firing regular rounds and because they're firing regular rounds as long as I don't go into close quarters combat where they aim down on my hull I should be okay now it's keep maintain the distance don't let them fire down on my hull as they could pen also keep an eye on the weak point splash the artillery use the med kit now they've propped adrenaline rush for me so I will be reloading faster for the rest of this game and the rather impressive damage per minute that this tank has of 2500 is going to be 10% more and I'm using a bond gun rammer and bond vents I believe with a durability device in this tank and boy am I happy that I took that durability device not only did it keep my tracks on so I could keep the frontal part of my tank towards my opponents and stop them from flanking me but it also put my hit points over the amount that I needed to survive and give me that little bit of an extra edge so we've got four kills in this game 9660 damage but we know that if this is a new record and I did 10,011 in the previous game that I'm going to be hitting one of these artillery for at least another 350. Uh-oh. It's not going to be that one. I was absolutely super frustrated. I was wanting to fully aim. I did not expect the GW Tiger to fire that shell. I thought that I had more than enough time. I'm actually going to try and blind fire here at a decent distance to see if maybe I can catch that artillery. Because come on, you know, we want to get a new record, right? Even if it's only going to be about 100 more than we did in the 60 TP, we're going to go for it here. We've been blind firing, we've been blind firing. Are we going to try and blind fire a little bit more? You can't actually see the uh, the rings on the map because I used the... Uh... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about because I used the free cam. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is, what, 99 damage higher than last time? But you know what? I'll take it anyway with a new damage record of what looks like 10,110 in the Object 279. Ah, uh, well, congratulations, Uncle Scrubby Baby. You, you, did a, you did a good job. Great stuff. Just shame it was in such an overpowered vehicle. This game was so different to the 60 TP record, right? The 60 TP record was a complete sweater in World of Tanks. We had to use a variety of ammo. We had to use a variety of our game knowledge. In this, we kind of just ended up in a nice cl close quarters fight against a bunch of opponents that didn't want to fire gold at me after that 277. And, you know, when you show this thing any kind of weakness with regards to the uh, the kinds of rounds that you're going to fire, then, yeah, you're going to get some gilded results. Looks like uh, this tank has been put together with gold, which is kind of ironic considering that gold is usually this tank's undoing. So this was 10,110 damage in six and a half minutes. I did fire a good amount of gold, but I still made profit because I penned all of my regular rounds before I had to dip into the premium rounds. And a steel wall for blocking 5,170 enough to destroy this tank a couple of times over. I mean, the 279E, it's just as OP as it gets inside the game. And why Wargaming refused to nerf this tank after years and years of it just being so flat out overpowered in the game is beyond me. Because frankly, one half okay player in this vehicle can kind of just ruin the experience for the other 29 players inside the battle. But I digress. The irrelevant of how overpowered this vehicle, it's nice to hit my second 10,000 plus game damage inside the random queue. Although, oh my word, is this like Quickie Baby Inception right now? That's perfect. It replaces my two previous best efforts, which were in the 60 TP. But if you want to check out what I still feel is still my, my at least my spiritual highest damage game in the 60 TP, go and check that video out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was the highest damage I've ever dealt in World of Tanks in 2023. It's always refreshing to be hitting new milestones and new records so long into my World of Tanks career. And I, I truly feel that I'm still at the top of my game. And once again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of you inside the community, especially the ones who tuned in live when this happened on Twitch at the end of a, a frightfully horrible evening of the game for coming along on this wild ride. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, 
Well, that was it for today. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're watching this video as it's released on Monday, I'm going live all day on Twitch with brand new token monthly drops. So come and get some fresh tokens so you can buy things like styles, five times experience, premium days, or a load of consumables. And so really looking forward to seeing you all live right now on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.